Cooper says he's already strongly considering vetoing the state budget, even though it's still not clear what exactly is in the budget. Republicans held closed door meetings today, still trying to figure out that are, that includes whether casinos and gaming will make it in it. We just don't know. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Highland, is live in Raleigh. Michael, what is the governor saying about this? Well, even though he acknowledges that, like us, he has not seen all of the details of this, there are some aspects that we have been reporting on that he is concerned about. But right now, Republicans are meeting here at the legislature still with some uncertainty about whether they'll be able to go forward with the budget this week. After months of talks about gambling, schools, and health care, state lawmakers could vote on the budget this week, but that's no guarantee. While Senate Republicans pushed to include four more casinos and video lottery terminals in the state budget, not enough House Republicans are on board. Members of the House Freedom Caucus met with Republican leaders Monday, but would not say what came of those meetings. The kid will, any news about the casinos? Senate Leader Phil Berger has supported the gaming proposal. It's pretty clear that uh, if, uh, if it's uh, in the budget and the budget fails, uh, the question is, what do we do? An email I obtained last week from House Speaker Tim Moore says it would take 61 of the 72 Republicans in the House to support putting gaming in the budget. I asked Senator Berger if he knew that. It's inconsistent with everything that I've been told up to that point. So you feel like the goalpost didn't move? Mm, yeah, I mean, uh, this in, is into what, another stadium. While we wait for a resolution, Democratic Governor Roy Cooper already says he's strongly considering vetoing the budget. I have vetoed bad budgets before. And I will again. The budget includes expanding Medicaid coverage to more than half a million people, which has been a goal of Cooper's for years. It's been delayed until at least December while Republicans negotiated the budget. But the governor is concerned about significant tax cuts Republicans have proposed and a major expansion of the state's school voucher program. When we are looking at investing in public education in the future, you know, what kind of priorities do we have? House Republicans are meeting privately right now to see where things stand, but as you heard from Senator Berger, it is unclear what the next step is and whether this will actually get resolved this week. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.